everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming my 2018 bucket list. Now, oh, have I got food in my neck? I've got food in my head. Great. <laughs> so, I did one of these last year and I thought that since it's a new year, I thought I would do another one for the 2018. So, if you're wondering why I'm being a little bit more quiet, it's because I'm filming for the first time with my mum and stepmom in the house and I'm terrified. <laughs> That's why I'm talking so quietly. I've been sat here for about 10 minutes staring at the camera just going, press record. <laughs> and it's like really stressful for me because like, I don't know why I'm so scared about it but like there's just so many things that have been putting me off it and I'm like, I don't know, do I, do I not? Or this is the first time I'm doing it so I'm a little bit more so the first one on my list is to be more positive. Now, for those of you that don't know, 2017 was a really rough year for me. I went through my first breakup, I left, I failed my GCSEs and I lost a lot of friends. So it was a very tough year for me personally. And obviously like there was like the mental stuff and then like mental stuff for me going on as well that's kind of gone on to this year as well, which I might talk about it in a later video because I feel like if I talk about it then more people will get help because this kind of relates to one of my one of my other goals but obviously I'm having tests and stuff done for other things but that's for a whole different video <laughs> so I got inspired and um, this this part of my list was inspired by Alfie Days who basically is probably one of my favorite youtubers purely because he's just so positive and he keeps telling people to be more positive and it's true like I was watching one of his vlogs and um he was saying about here yeah, I think it was one of his friends went up to either someone went up to him or they went up to him or whatever and they said three words that will inspire you or something like that I can't remember exactly what it is and basically the person said you're gonna die that hit me pretty hard because some of you don't know I'm scared of death so I was a bit like great <laughs> love thinking about death and uh, see so yeah, I kind of feel like this is why I'm trying to make myself this is a, this is definitely one thing I'm trying to do like which is to, to film my videos when people when people are in the house and um, so yeah I kind of feel like I kind of need to do that a lot more because obviously I wasn't doing that last year and I want to make this year a lot better for me personally like I know I've got um, I'm pretty sure the people I've got with me are going to stick through me. Well, they've stuck with me for the most of it, so I hope they're going to stick with me for the rest of it. The second one on my list is to go to the cinema more. Now, for those of you that don't know, I don't like cinemas. They're too dark, they're too noisy, and there's too many people in one room. <laughs> so, in 2017, I did go to the cinema once, and that was when I went on the NCS trip, and it was not optional to go to the cinema one day loved it and um, we went and saw I think it was Spider-Man Homecoming and it was actually really good <laughs> I, really, I really enjoyed the film but like it was it's, I think for me it's the build up I don't like to seeing the film like when we're sitting in there and I get in like I basically get lost in the film then I'm fine that's like well, I guess um, it's like I have to get lost in the film and then like I forget basically that I'm in the cinema until the end and I'm like oh yeah I thought that was in the cinema that's basically what it's like that's like an easy way of explaining it um the third one is currently what I'm doing right now which is to film videos with my mum and stepmom in tours and so far so good <laughs> I'm just like a bit more quiet but I hope like I'll get a little bit louder over time and then hopefully I'll actually get a lot better at this because then I can get more videos done because otherwise I normally wait till a day during the week where they've gone to the pub that's basically the only time I get to film and sometimes I don't go so I don't have a video or I'm rushing or something like that which makes things like 10 times harder <laughs> so hopefully now I'm filming with them in the house it'll be a lot easier for me Number four is to go to Summer in the City 2018. Oh my god. 2017 Summer in... I think 2017... No. Summer in the City 2017 was the highlight of my year. And basically the best day of my life. 
honestly, who did I meet? I met Mark Ferris, Hannah, Eve, Jasmine, Sophie Lewis, Anastasia, Saffron, uh, Laura and Molly, Liv and Lizzie. Now, obviously, for those of you who don't know, I think I put it in my 2017 bucket list was to meet Anastasia, and I met Anastasia. She is honestly the nicest human being. I love her so much. Like, because I remember me and mum were queuing up to meet Eve, and then my mum went, and then so we realised, like, the queue was splitting in two, and my mum went, is that Anastasia? And I was like, I basically cried, because <laughs> I was so happy, and hopefully this year, I might be going with my friend Daisy and then we might stay in London for the weekend or if we can't afford it then I'll end up with a mum. <laughs> so hopefully one of them because I really want to go this year because it was amazing and I might vlog it <laughs> depending if I can, if I have the confidence to. But if I can do it, I'm pretty sure I might be able to do the confidence. So number six, no number five, <laughs> is to complete Vlogmas 2018. Now there is one bit for this which I'm a bit mm, about. So for those of you who don't know, I did try and do it last, well, 2017. However, however, um, where I didn't finish college till the 15th, the first couple of vlogs were really boring. So I was like, okay, I need to stop because this is pointless. So I went until the 15th and then I did every single day up to New Year's, New Year's Day? No, Christmas Eve, I think it was. I can't remember which one it was. I was going to upload my Christmas Day vlog, but I really didn't have a lot. I could have literally just uploaded the Monopoly time lapse, but that was like an hour long. <laughs> so I was like, no. So hopefully, I think what I might do this year is maybe like. Oh God. So I might wait till if I I don't because I don't know what I'm doing after September because I'm going to be leaving college. Obviously, I know that, like. I could stay and do level 3 but I don't enjoy media at all and I don't know what I want to do afterwards yet. I might do an apprenticeship or do another course, I'm not decided yet. <laughs> but yeah. So what I might have to do is if I'm still at college then I'll wait till college is finished and then start vlogging till um, Christmas Eve, if that makes sense. Number 6 is to stick to either one video a week or one video every two weeks. Like I can upload whenever basically, or at least it's once a week or two week gap. I did try to do this last year and like I said I had a pretty rubbish year last year so I had like I had no motivation to film, no motivation to literally do anything. Literally up till about must have been like June, July. I never wanted to leave the house. Honestly. It was horrible. The start of the year was the work. So I'm just getting a little comfy. I'd say the start of the year Till about the start of August was terrible. Definitely the worst couple of months ever. And then, so I say things got bad in about probably about like September the year before things started going a bit downhill. And then February it went straight down. And then in about July when I did my GCSEs and it went straight down to the bottom. And then it kind of went a little bit underground when I got my GCSE results. <laughs> Although there was some good times in 2017. The only good things I can remember in 2017 was prom. That was really good. Um, Summer in the city. Um, meeting Daisy, Molly, Jack and Joe because they are like my closest friends. Well, including Bethany obviously, but she does go to college. So obviously they're like my closest friends at college and yeah and I think that's probably it. <laughs> that's probably the only good memories I have of 2017. God that was a really bad year thinking about it even worse now. <laughs> and number seven is to continue with my YouTube channel and yes I know that kind of relates to the other one but I kind of feel like I really want to carry on doing this purely like the thing is, I feel like when you start doing a YouTube channel, people start taking the mick out of you for no reason. That is what happened to me. When I started my YouTube channel when I was at secondary school, I got made fun of it for it and it's not fun, I will admit. However, it's because they are jealous. And think of it this way. This is, how, this is what my family said to me. 
think so if someone's having a current like bullying you or doing whatever because you've started a youtube channel then think of it this way you're the one that has got the effort the motivation and the confidence to upload a video of you to a like a wide like a really popular thing for people to see you that's how i thought of it so i was like okay well at least i've got the guts to do it <laughs> if that makes sense that's basically what i said i feel like that motivates me because it makes me feel like you can put you you can basically do what you want to do like i really wanted to start my youtube channel i started three different channels until i got to this one i think there was a real and fussy that girl pink princess so it was pink princess that girl then th then my old real and fussy then this one God, I, I wish I had the video from my first one though, because <laughs> that was so funny, because I had a cooking video of me and Bethany, and that was so funny. I was, I was so sad I lost that. <laughs> number eight is to, con uh, no, no, number eight is to get a new laptop. So for those of you that don't know, I don't know which one it is I do have, but I hate it. I have a HP one, I've never got one with HP. However, I know this is probably going to sound really... I don't know what the word, no, not that word, I don't know, whatever word, like, oh, I don't know what the word is, I've got my memory, um, I don't know what the word is, well, a word that's not nice, <laughs> um, but I can't, I, in all honesty, I get along with Apple products more than anything, like, I have an iPhone, I have an iPad, I had like MacBooks, I had iMacs at school and college and I find them so much easier to use than other laptops. So hopefully this year I will actually get a MacBook. The one I am hoping for is the MacBook Air 15 inch. <laughs> because I feel like if I have a bigger screen it's easier and also like the MacBook Air has like this cool thing at the top you can like click buttons and stuff like that and th things like that really interest me. And I just feel like I love MacBooks, <laughs> literally, because uh, my friend Daisy and um, I have friends that have Macs. Obviously, my sister used to have a Mac, and I used to love it. <laughs> and I'm just like, I want one, <laughs> or one similar to it. Number nine is to explore more high-end makeup. Now, obviously, there is a lot of high-end makeup that came out in 2017 that I really wanted to try. So I don't, I don't know if it, when it came out in 2016 or not, though. So there was like the Modern Renaissance palette, the Violet Voss palette, like the Glow Kits, the Kylie Jenner stuff. Is it Kylie Jenner? Yeah, I think it's Kylie Jenner. And I really, really wanted to try them. <laughs> but then I was like, hmm. Um, number 10, I do want to do a separate video on mainly. But that is to continue my counselling. Now, I've been having counselling sessions since about, I want to say end of September, start of October kind of thing and let's just say I talked to my counsellor about a lot of things, <laughs> a lot of things, like things in the past, current things that are happening and obviously all my mental health and that stuff that's going on at the moment, I talked to her a lot about it and yeah, obviously having a counsellor, I know some people say that counsellors don't help, like I have had some people like members of my like friends and that that have had said their counsellors don't help but my I love my counsellor she's amazing I honestly think it does help it, I think it just depends who you have but I am definitely want to carry it on this year because I know there was one point where I didn't have a session for like a week and then that whole week I basically felt like rubbish <laughs> and then the week after that and I was fine again although it feels like my moves are going up and down at the moment again so obviously I'm I'm sorry if I keep fidgeting I've got really bad leg pain. <laughs> it's just something I get from when I was younger. Um it's like I don't really know how to explain it. But it's like it really helps because you get to talk to like a professional kind of thing about it and it really does help. So if someone said that to you like you need to see a counsellor or if there's stuff you need to talk to someone about, see a counsellor because they are amazing. <laughs> you got to be depends where you go, really. Um, if you do want me to do like a separate video on my counselling experience, like and how I found it, like maybe in a bit more detail, then 
comment in the comments like if you'd like to see that basically. <laughs> so that is the end of the video. I really hope you enjoyed it. I hope this kind of gave you some tips or maybe of what you guys wanted to do in 2018. I'm sorry I started to get leg cramp by the end of the video but I can't sit still properly when I do. It's something I got when I like something happened in my past and that that again we'll probably talk about <laughs> I probably will do something more on it because I feel like I do get a lot of questions about what happened to me when I was younger and obviously like the like kind of affected me now <laughs> so if you enjoyed this video please give it a big thumbs up and hit the big red subscribe button down below for more comment in the comments in future videos you guys like to see or if you want to see a video on the counselling and I will see you all next time, maybe next week, maybe the week after, with a brand new video.